Bum, 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 bum. Hey guys, Bamso Angel here, and it's time for another haul video. And if you're wondering why in the world is CVS in this video over here, um, it, there's kind of a, a little something else that I'm going to add to this video. But so far from the hauls for this video will be from Michaels Hobby Lobby. And our usual will be from the Dollar Tree as well. So they have a couple of things going on here and a bunch of bags that are just waiting to be opened. So let's get started. Okay, you guys. Um, so today we're going to go kind of backwards here. So we're actually going to start off with all the Michael stuff that I got from there. And then we'll move on to Hobby Lobby, then the dollar store, and then the last one will be from the CVS. So um, normally when I do a haul, I um, show a lot of stuff here as well, um, just to see what I got. And hopefully while I'm doing this, that you guys will get different ideas from your own creations and what you guys want to do. So um, I'm just, I just throw... I may call videos just to throw ideas out there and maybe you guys could um, just kind of get your own creative ideas out of them too. So today I bought, oh not, um, this is during uh, January and throughout the February. So a lot of this stuff has to do with um, just stuff in general and then um, some of it has to do with like the Valentine's Day, the whole um, lovey-dovey stuff going on. So um, here I have um, some dairy bottles here. Um, let me just focus on this really quickly. There you go. And I thought these were adorable and they're very delicate as you can see. And that's pretty much what I got from there. And then I also saw these amazing glass bottles here. And I was like, oh my gosh, I got to get these. So these are really cool. I like them a lot. They're very delicate. And um, they will break easily. So I got a really, really... Find a, special, find, a, find a special place for these so that they don't break as break or crack or anything like that. And then I also got these mini treat molds here. And here they are. And I believe these are the, the little heart molds. And I like how they look inside. They have like that little like puffy ruffle effect on them so I was like oh I gotta get these so and then this is what the back looks like so there's those and then I didn't even realize that um St. Patty, Patty's Day is coming up soon so I was like when I saw these I was like oh my gosh I gotta get these so um these are like the four leaf closer, clovers, uh, well technically there's only three here, but um, this is what they look like. And then here is the back of them. My lucky friends here. <laughs> so there's those. And then I also decided to get some of the recollection stock papers. And... Um, these are the different designs that they have in this um, 25 sheets here. And here's the back side. So I thought that was neat. And here's the other ones. I love the way that they did these. It's very popped out, very, very wordy, very um, decorative. I think that makes an awesome way to for the backgrounds if you ever decide to use these for like for cards invitations or just like you make your own creation with your own journals or books this would be a really great idea for it and there's the different kinds of designs here and i believe this one is the last one i picked up and 
This is the back side. I love all these hearts. I think it's adorable the way that they do these. Um, these are the different kinds of other designs that they have here too. And I'm just trying to focus in these each and every one because <laughs> I want to get as much detail in here as possible. So, and that's the last stock paper that I got. And then I decided that I've been really wanting to get back into painting again. So I don't exactly have the right supplies for it, but I'm hoping to really get back to it, into it soon. So I bought these. These are the Canvases Value Pack. And um, they're really, they really come in handy. It's not too big, but it's not too small either. I was really looking for the smaller ones. Um, I think they're like 4 by 6 or, I don't know, 8 by 10 one or the other. But I decided just to go with these for now. So these are just like the own skinny canvases. Whoa, look at them. Watch out for that. And... That's pretty much the size here. So I I really want to start getting back to drawing and painting again. I really miss that. So hopefully sometime during this semester when I have time, I can actually do, do that again. And, and if you guys want to see art, some art videos on sketches that I've done or any of the colorful paintings that I've done as well, just let me know and I'll definitely up upload a video. And then I also got some more molds here. And these are the heart molds. And here's the back view. So there's those. And then lastly, for the molds, I hope I'm correct. Well, for the val Valentine's Day molds, I decided to get the candy bark mold. And this is what it's supposed to look like. And for all these, I'm definitely going to be doing these, um, hopefully with resin sometime soon, very, very soon. Um, I decided that maybe I should do it around... Um, Maybe sometime this month, definitely. So there, there's these molds. So this is the last Valentine's Day mold that I got here. And then I have a lot of these, so I'm just like dumping them out of the bay. I decided to get to stock up more on these little twine molds here. And this is the green and white. I'm just going to roll them over there. <laughs> and this is like a magenta color. This is a dark blue. An orange. A pink. A lighter shade of blue. And of course, a yellow. So that was pretty much um, all my um, side collection there for the Michaels. And then this is from the Easter um, holidays that's coming up very soon. I believe not until like April. And here are all the bunny molds. So I just thought this was cute. I Once I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, like I have to get it. And these are just adorable. And uh, unfortunately, I can't really show you the backside because there's no, it's not like the others. So, um... So there's that.
And then here are the other bunny molds. I thought these were so cute and nice. And these were just adorable. I said, these are just amazing. They're like little... Oh, they say peeps on them, but yeah. So, there's those molds. And then, while I was also shopping, I decided to get some of the stickers that they were, that they were showing here. So here's the Valentine stickers. And they're really cool. I love seeing the 3-in-1 stickers. I think they provide a lot more of these amazing layouts here. So, And then here's also the St. Patty's Day stickers, which I thought were really cute and adorable. So a lot of them popped out. The little Irish man here. <laughs> the lucky man, as they call him. It's really cool. And then there's more stickers here. So those are pretty much the stickers that I got. And then, on the time that I went to go shopping with my sister, I decided to buy a sewing materials here. And then I also decided to get these cord end caps, which could be very useful towards what I'm about to use them for. For maybe my charms or... And then I got also a lot of the, the round cording. Or maybe I can actually turn them into either bracelets or somehow like for necklaces for people to wear the charms that I make so we'll see what happens with that but I'm, right now I'm just kind of stocking up here and there and towards the last things that I got from Michael's I decided to get The last, excuse me, the last, the Easter candy bark molds. And these are really interesting because although they're not as um, thick and like you cannot pour, I guess, a lot of resin in these. And you got to be very delicate to watch to make sure that it doesn't overflow. But... Honestly, I said, you know what, I got to try these. They really have some amazing pictures here and there. So I'm just going to try to give you a preview on how these look inside. Oh, and this one I can actually show you the back side. So let me just... Well, I got half of it, so hopefully that'll do. <laughs> but... Uh... Yeah, so there's that. And I actually decided to get two of these, so I'll be giving this other one to my friend. Hopefully she'll like it. Because she does, she actually has done more resin projects than I have, so. And then there's those. And lastly, that I got from Michael's, I caved in finally and decided to get the the frozen stickers that my friends are really really obsessed over that movie so I decided why not so I decided to get a couple of stickers there and here's another one this one is just for Anna if I remember. 
So there's her stickers. And then here is Olaf and his many animated scenes here. And then here is the whole gang. You got Elsa, Anna, Olaf flying in the air. <laughs> and, um, dang it, I can never remember these Disney characters' names. So forgive me if I don't remember because I don't watch a whole lot of Disney movies, just the ones that I know. <laughs> and lastly, I got Elsa and her frozen stickers here and this one's all about Elsa so yeah you figure they block the stickers the ones with the big label probably the best stickers are blocked anyways but yeah I got some of those stickers here the frozen stickers so there's that I'm gonna back this up a little bit so um Next, I'm going to be opening the Hobby Lobby now. So I only got, so I only got a couple of stuff from Hobby Lobby, and um, here are some, some of the things that I got. And I decided to actually, decided to go with Amazing Casting Resin, and it's the 10 minute one that actually turns um, your projects white instead of clear. And, um, you know, I just, I don't know, I just, I really like the idea more when things, um, turn a certain color and you can, um, paint over them, like, however the colors you want. So, this, I decided to get it, 16 flow ounce, and, um, so that was my little haul from, from, um, Hobby Lobby, so there's that. And then I also decided to get um the mold the mold release and conditioner for casting and crafting and I thought this was I thought this would be useful for when I start doing resin very soon so um I also got that as well and then I love the felt that they have there, and here's one of them. And these are a bunch of owls here, as you can see. So there's those. And then there's also the ladybugs. Bunch of ladybugs. Lady luck, ladybugs. And then Nothing but dessert. Who doesn't love dessert? Ice cream. So. That was pretty much all my Hobby Lobby lo haul. And next we'll go on to the Dollar Tree. And from the Dollar Tree, I actually just got a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of the Easter grass here. So... Here's the one with the blue and sparkle. And I actually have a really couple of ideas with these to of what to do with them. Um, so I just kind of got um, different colors of what I can find. And here's the purple with the sparkle in it. And then these are also... The green, the dark green with the sparkle in it as well. And then I also just got the ones that were kind of clear, but also have like the color in it as well. And this one is like, I guess a yellow orange. The green with a clear effect. And lastly, the pink with a clear effect. So I got a lot of those. And then 
lastly that I got from the dollar store were these stickers and they are nothing but the like under the sea creatures <laughs> and I thought these were cute so I couldn't really pass these up I was like oh I gotta get these and this is how the back side looks very shiny so I got those scoot that under there okay and lastly, what I got from CVS was me and my friend were talking about the other day about our hair and how we're trying to take, we should try to take better care of it. So that's the receipt. <laughs> so we decided to go exploring and I found, well, we both found um this and this is coconut and hibiscus sheer butter and soap and um it's supposed to it's supposed to hold like a bunch of vitamin and minerals and pretty much everything that's a natural ingredient and it's supposed to be very good for your body as well so it's to help take care of it and everything about it I believe is pretty much organic so there's no there's nothing that's uh, damaging to damaging about it that that I've known of to to use so um, yeah um, I actually want to try this out and I love the smell of coconut so that was another reason why I got it and then I said I need to do something just to be sure to try to take care of my hair um, I haven't watched enough videos to find out which products work here and there but um, if anything um, I do want to try out this um, moisturizing retention shampoo it's supposed to help with dry and damaged hair and it's to help heal and grow and strengthen your hair and it's sulfate free and color safe even though some products say sulfate free it's better to always look at the ingredients and to make sure that there's nothing that isn't anything that you can't read that would that would make it um uh, anything less danger to your to your hair so when it when we saw these um i actually got this product um she, my friend she got another i believe she got a different one but they have other um products by sheer moisture and um i could probably show you a couple of pictures of what they look like so um but I definitely want to try this out. That's the shampoo version. And then this is what the conditioner would look like for dry damaged hair. So you can, and then I, and then I believe they have the same thing. But it's also, instead of getting the conditioner, you can also get it for, for just leaving it in your hair. Like leave-in conditioner. And Garnet is another product that I use for my hair and I believe that one is all natural as well so but um, I'm still um, looking into um, which ones are better out there um, my hair is thick and heavy sometimes and then um, other than that it gets tangled really easily so um, yeah, so that's just something new that um, I just wanted to bring into this haul. Um, but other than that, um, if you guys have any questions um, or any um, comments, just leave them below. Um, feel free to subscribe to me if you guys ever want to get more channel updates from my channel. I also have another channel, which is Rose Message Reader. And... That is mainly going to be about books in general and um, hopefully I'll have more hauls on those videos. I believe I'm going to have another book haul on my 
on my other channel, so be sure to check it out as well. Um, and I think that's about it. So, um, I have, I believe, another package video coming soon. I'm really sorry because I had an idea for my giveaway for YouTube, but the thing is, um, that plan kind of backfired, so now I have to find a different place to find these items so um be sure to look forward to that i will be having a giveaway very soon so we'll see what happens look forward to my new videos coming up soon um any questions comments rate and subscribe just leave it all below info as it will be all in the subscription box so look forward to hearing from me soon all right bam soul angel over and out Thank you.